Ancient Egypt, a land of pharaohs and pyramids, a civilization shrouded in mystery. For centuries we have marveled at their monumental structures, intricate artifacts and advanced systems. How did a society without modern machinery achieve such feats? The pyramids of Giza stand as a testament to their engineering prowess. These colossal structures built from millions of tons of stone have baffled experts for millennia. How were they constructed? What secrets lie hidden within their depths? The answer may lie in the ancient Egyptians' deep understanding of mathematics, astronomy and engineering. They possessed a level of sophistication that belies their era. Their innovations continue to influence us today. The Egyptians were masters of irrigation, harnessing the power of the Nile to transform a barren desert into a fertile land. They developed innovative medical practices, performing complex surgeries, and developing herbal remedies that are still used today. Their legacy is not just one of stone and mortar, but of knowledge and innovation. They left behind a wealth of written records inscribed on papyrus and carved into temple walls. These texts reveal a people who were not only skilled builders but also keen observers of the natural world. Join us now as we journey back in time to unlock the secrets of ancient Egyptian technology. We will delve into the minds of these master builders, explore their ingenious inventions, and discover how their legacy continues to shape our world today. The Great Pyramid of Giza a monument to ambition, ingenuity, and enduring mystery. Built from over 2 million stone blocks each weighing 2.5 tons, the precision is astonishing. Even today replicating such feats is daunting. A masterpiece of engineering, a symbol of a civilization that dared to dream big. Theories abound about how the pyramids were constructed, some believe that massive ramps were built, spiraling around the pyramid's exterior, allowing workers to haul the stones up on sleds. Others suggest that the Egyptians used a system of levers and rollers, combined with manpower and ingenuity. Still, others point to evidence suggesting that the Egyptians may have harnessed the power of the Nile River. By creating canals and using a system of boats and floats, they could have transported the heavy stones from distant quarries to the construction site. Each theory has its merits and drawbacks, and the debate continues to this day. Could there be another explanation? Some speculate that the Egyptians possessed advanced technologies that have been lost to time. Technologies that would explain not only the construction of the pyramids, but also the precision with which they were aligned to the stars. Precision Alignment Celestial Guides and Earthly Mastery the Great Pyramid is aligned almost perfectly with true north. This feat suggests the ancient Egyptians had a sophisticated understanding of astronomy and surveying. They used celestial observations and ingenious tools to achieve this accuracy. Imagine standing among them, gazing at the star-studded sky. They saw celestial guides, markers to navigate and build their monuments. The pyramids were gateways to the afterlife aligned with the stars. The language of the pyramids mathematics and sacred geometry the pyramids reveal the ancient egyptians mastery of mathematics they applied geometry ratios and proportions with astonishing accuracy the great pyramid embodies the golden ratio and pi intriguing scholars today mathematics described the fundamental order of the universe they believe these principles resonated with cosmic harmony the pyramids are expressions of a worldview harmonizing with the cosmos they stand as enduring reminders of human ingenuity and ancient mysteries. The Celestial Compass, Pyramids, and the Stars The ancient Egyptians were keen observers of the night sky. They noticed patterns in the stars charting their movements with remarkable accuracy. This celestial knowledge was not just for stargazers, it played a crucial role in their engineering feats. The alignment of the pyramids with true north is no coincidence. Imagine standing with those ancient engineers gazing up at the night sky. They used the stars as their guide, a celestial compass to orient their most important structures. The North Star, a fixed point in the heavens, was their reference point. Their tools may have been simple, but their methods were effective. Using plumb lines, sighting rods, and careful observations, they achieved an accuracy that astounds modern engineers. The pyramids stand as a testament to their astronomical knowledge, a fusion of earthly engineering and celestial precision.
Some researchers believe the ancient Egyptians' fascination with the stars went beyond mere alignment. They point to the striking resemblance between the Giza pyramid complex and the stars of Orion's belt. This theory, known as the Orion Correlation Theory, suggests a deliberate connection between earthly structures and celestial patterns. Could it be that the ancient Egyptians saw the Giza Plateau as a reflection of the heavens, a microcosm of the cosmos? The Orion Correlation Theory, while controversial, captures the imagination, hinting at a deeper layer of meaning embedded in the pyramid's design. While the debate continues among scholars one thing is certain, the ancient Egyptians' worldview was deeply intertwined with the cosmos. They saw the stars not just as distant lights but as powerful forces that influenced their lives and their afterlife. Astronomy was not just a practical tool for the ancient Egyptians, it was deeply woven into their religious beliefs and cultural practices. They believed that the movements of the stars influenced the flooding of the Nile, the cycle of seasons, and even the fate of pharaohs. Their gods and goddesses were often associated with celestial bodies. Ra, the sun god, sailed across the sky each day in his solar boat, while Nut, the sky goddess, swallowed the stars each night and gave birth to them anew each morning. The ancient Egyptians' knowledge of the stars permeated their lives, shaping their worldview and inspiring their monumental architecture. Their legacy reminds us to look up at the night sky with wonder, to seek connections between the earthly and the celestial, and to marvel at the enduring power of human curiosity. The pyramids of Egypt are not just feats of engineering, they are embodiments of mathematical brilliance. The ancient Egyptians possessed a sophisticated understanding of geometry, arithmetic and spatial reasoning. They applied this knowledge with astonishing precision in the design and construction of their monumental tombs. Imagine the challenge building structures of such immense scale using only rudimentary tools and the power of human labor. Without a solid grasp of mathematics, such feats would have been impossible. The pyramids stand as a testament to the ancient Egyptians' intellectual prowess. They understood the concepts of area and volume, enabling them to calculate the exact amount of stone required for each pyramid. They used ropes and plumb lines to create perfect right angles, and to ensure the alignment of their structures. The pyramids are not haphazard piles of stone, they are carefully calculated wonders. Delving deeper into the mathematics of the pyramids we encounter intriguing clues that suggest an advanced understanding of mathematical principles. The Great Pyramid, in particular, exhibits proportions that correspond to the mathematical constants of pi and the golden ratio. Pi, the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, appears to be encoded in the pyramid's dimensions. The ratio of the pyramid's base perimeter to its height is remarkably close to 2 pi. Was this intentional or is it a mere coincidence? The debate continues. The golden ratio, approximately 1.618, is also found in the pyramid's design. This ratio, often found in nature and art, creates aesthetically pleasing proportions. The presence of both pi and the golden ratio in the Great Pyramid suggests a deliberate incorporation of mathematical principles into its design. Imagine a time before hospitals and modern medicine. The ancient Egyptians were pioneers in medicine. Their knowledge on fragile papyrus scrolls offers a glimpse into their medical practices. The Edwin Smith Papyrus from 1600 BCE details injuries and treatments. It reveals a systematic approach to medicine based on observation and diagnosis. The ancient Egyptians were keen observers of the natural world. They noticed the healing properties of plants, experimenting with herbs and flowers to create remedies for various ailments. Their pharmacies were not sterile labs but gardens and fields brimming with ingredients for their medicinal concoctions. Garlic, honey, aloe vera, pomegranate, these were just a few of the ingredients in their natural arsenal. They used honey for its antibacterial properties, garlic for its immune-boosting effects, and aloe vera to soothe burns and skin irritations. Their knowledge of herbal remedies was vast and, in many cases, surprisingly effective. The Ebers Papyrus, another significant medical text, lists over 800 herbal remedies. It describes treatments for everything from headaches and stomach aches to heart conditions and even mental illness. While some of their remedies may seem far-fetched today, 
Many were based on sound principles of observation and experience. Section 3, Sharp Minds, Steady Hands, Surgery in Ancient Egypt. Surgery in the modern sense may seem out of place in ancient Egypt. Yet the Egyptians were surprisingly skilled surgeons performing procedures that would have been unthinkable in other parts of the world at that time. Their tools, crafted from bronze and copper, may seem primitive, but they were used with remarkable skill and precision. Imagine a time before anesthesia, before antiseptics, before the germ theory of disease, yet Egyptian surgeons were performing complex procedures, setting broken bones, stitching wounds, and even attempting brain surgery. Their understanding of anatomy, while not perfect, was advanced for their time. The Edwin Smith Papyrus once again provides valuable insights. It describes surgical cases in detail, outlining the steps of procedures, the instruments used, and the expected outcomes. The text even distinguishes between treatable and untreatable conditions, a testament to their pragmatism and understanding of the limits of their art. Section 4. Life After Death. The Science of Mummification. Mummification, the process of preserving bodies after death, is perhaps the most iconic aspect of ancient Egyptian culture. But beyond the religious significance, mummification was also a science, requiring a deep understanding of anatomy, chemistry, and the process of decomposition. Imagine the knowledge required to remove internal organs, to dehydrate a body without destroying its form, and to create a preservative environment that could last for millennia. The Egyptians mastered these techniques, developing a process that continues to fascinate and inform us today. Mummification was not just about preserving the physical body, it was about ensuring the deceased's safe passage into the afterlife. It was a testament to their belief in the continuity of life after death and their desire to honor the dead. Imagine a vast desert, scorched by the relentless sun. Now picture a ribbon of life, a shimmering river cutting through the arid landscape. This is the Nile, the lifeblood of ancient Egypt, a source of sustenance, inspiration and engineering challenges. For centuries, the Egyptians depended on the Nile's annual floods to irrigate their crops and sustain their civilization. But the Nile's floods were a double-edged sword. Too little water meant drought and famine, while too much could devastate crops and villages. To harness the river's power, the Egyptians developed ingenious irrigation systems, a testament to their ingenuity and adaptability. Their survival depended on understanding the river's rhythms, predicting its moods, and working in harmony with its ebb and flow. They were not just farmers, they were water engineers, masters of irrigation who transformed a desert into a breadbasket. The ancient Egyptian solution to the Nile's unpredictable floods was a system known as basin irrigation. Imagine a network of canals, dikes, and basins, carefully designed to capture, control, and distribute the river's precious water. It was a landscape transformed by human ingenuity, a testament to their ability to work with nature, not against it. When the Nile flooded, they diverted the water into a series of large basins, allowing the rich silt to settle and fertilize the land. These basins acted like giant reservoirs, holding the water until it was needed to irrigate the surrounding fields. It was a delicate balance requiring careful planning and coordination. Imagine the scene farmers opening sluice gates, releasing the water from the basins, and directing it through a network of smaller canals to their crops. It was a scene repeated for centuries, a testament to the enduring power of their irrigation system. To manage their irrigation system effectively, the Egyptians needed to predict the Nile's floods with accuracy. Their solution was both ingenious and elegant, the Nilometer. Imagine a well, connected to the river by a tunnel. Inside the well, a graduated pillar marked the water level, providing a precise measurement of the river's rise and fall. These Nilometers were not just practical tools, they were also architectural marvels, often incorporated into temples and other important structures. Priests and officials carefully monitored the nilometer readings, their observations providing vital information for predicting the year's harvest. Imagine the anticipation as the floodwaters rose, the hope for a bountiful harvest mingled with the fear of devastating floods. The nilometer, a symbol of human ingenuity, offered a measure of control over nature's capriciousness.
From towering pyramids to delicate papyrus scrolls, the legacy of ancient Egypt continues to captivate and inspire us. Their achievements in engineering, medicine, and agriculture were remarkable. The pyramids stand as testaments to their mastery of mathematics and construction. Their medical texts reveal a systematic approach to healing. Their irrigation systems transformed a desert into fertile land. The ancient Egyptians left their mark on human civilization. Their innovations inspired later cultures and their knowledge endures. Their monuments remind us of what humans can achieve. The past is a wellspring of inspiration for the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content on ancient technologies and more. See you in the next video.